Hi there! Hope you guys are doing well! This is Tim and I'm coming back at you with a fresh new video. And today I'm going to talk about something fun that happened over the weekend. As a small little note though, at the near the end of this video, I'm going to have a couple small details and notes regarding the channel and what, what it's been going through. Um, why there hasn't been certain videos coming up like speed animations and analyses, which I'll, I'll, I'll cover completely. It's nothing bad, but uh, I won't hold up the video any longer, so let's dive right in. So, the most fun thing, and I did a lot of things this weekend, all of which I'll make a video for, um, but the, probably the most fun thing that happened was last month I had signed up for Crispin Freeman's online voice acting workshop. And in fact, this past Monday, the classes for November went on sale, and I signed up for that as well. Um, and I was recommended to by when I went to MetroCon, I believe back in August, week seven, um, when I met Steve Bloom and Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, they had recommended signing up for online voice acting classes, one of which was Crispin Freeman's. I signed up, gosh dang, it was absolute fun. I loved every minute of it, it was very educational, very honest, and I felt improvement and better understanding of crafting your voice by the end of the class. If voice acting is for you, I highly recommend checking out. It's about, um, unless it's changed, it's $185 for a class, but absolutely worth it if this is what you want to do. And hey, I, I bought my Blue Yeti microphone for it. I'm like, you know what, this is what I want. I love animation, that's my top priority, but voice acting is just right there, and I want to put my money where my mouth is and really shine forward with it. So got the Yeti, got the class, got the headphones, and absolutely worth it. Cannot wait for next month with the next class. <laughs> um, so I'll talk a little bit about the class. I don't know the extent, so I'll be sparing with it. So the, the fun thing that I got to do was I got to read off of characters. My characters I got to read off of were Hercules from Disney's Hercules and then Simba from Disney's Lion King. I don't know if there's another Simba character <laughs> in film. Um, but basically, um, I was given the scripts for, um, for two specific scenes, and I was given those characters because apparently my natural voice is close to the natural voices of Hercules and Simba, which I didn't know. I went, wow, that's, that's really fun. I, I admit, I was a, completely nervous going in, but obviously I summed up the courage to go, you know what, I pay the money, this is what I want to do, and the only way to get better is doing this, so... You know, let, like, fail beautifully. That's That was a quote from Mary Mary McGlynn when I was at Metricon. Fail beautifully, fail beautifully. So I'm like, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fail beautifully. I don't care what criticism or critique or praise I get. I'm just going to be me. I'm going to do my best and have fun. And at least looking for myself, it was it was a blast. By the end of it, I really had a, a greater understanding of how to engage into a character and then engage with other characters in the scene. I also figured out just how, like really getting into the nitty gritty of the script and thinking like, you know, like at this point, like this action would happen and this um, noise or tone of your voice would change. Like I really, I, I, I think I have a good eye for noticing that on a minimal level, but that really, really made me take notice of things that I knew about, but never really, and acted upon, or really tried practicing within voice. Like, it really opened my mind up to a whole new world. And that was just the first class. And I got my next class next month, so I'm just like, what else do I not know, or think I know, but need to be proven wrong? I'm so excited. It, it was absolutely wonderful. Another big note um, that, um, that I have to take into account was all the other people, because our class... Just going off of memory, I believe, including me and Mr. Freeman, there was about another seven people, another eight. There was another assistant in the text chat we had named uh, Maureen, absolutely wonderful, and all the other people there were absolutely great. Gosh dang, some of them were just just nailing it. The first guy, uh, I can't, I'm horrible with names, and I, I, took, I took six pages worth of handwritten notes, and I took screenshots of whenever we were all given... Uh, text advice from Maureen. So I have this whole uh, just list of notes that I want to go through again and again and again. But the first person, I, I absolutely love the guy, and he had he had a really thick southern drawl. His inflection always kept going down. Even when he asked a question, it's like, how are you? Where are we going? Like, it was just, I loved it. Like, it was just so fun, and he just, he had such great charisma around him, a good voice. And by the by, the start of it, like you could see that he was trying to figure out um, how to 
like he was encountering his issues or you know with his natural voice you know the challenges he would have to overcome but by the end of it um his second character he was doing solely for monsters university and by that second take he was nailing it i was like i can feel i feel it like i feel the emotion emotional struggle in your voice reflecting the, like solely like my gosh he nailed it there were um like two other guys one did max from the first goofy movie and Incredible Boy from Incredibles, and then the other guy did um, uh, Syndrome from Incredibles, and uh, I'm trying to remember the other character he did. I do not remember. Gosh dang, they did great! And Mr. Freeman gave us uh, characters that reflected our natural voice, so as soon as the one guy started talking in as Max from the Goofy movie, I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's Max! And he did such a good job! Like, my gosh, it, I was, it was so wonderful to be around so many positive people who just wanted to get better and wanted to give um, praise and approval and advice to everyone else in the room. And we all, just by the end of it, we were all cheering each other on and just noticing the improvements. It was such a positive environment. I absolutely loved it. Every single one of us made an improvement of some kind. We all could hear it. Um, so, by all means, I could not recommend the class anymore. It was totally, totally worth 185. This microphone and the headset it was worth the 250 with all the other equipment, like the pop filter that I have over there, because it would just get in the way for right now. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> but, um, but gosh dang, absolutely worth it. Fantastic. I already hear improvement, not in, not only in my voice, but in all the other person's voices. Just absolutely wonderful. Give it a shot. If, if, if this is for you, give it a shot. And don't just limit yourself to him. There's plenty of other people online who have workshops that were recommended that I haven't checked out yet. I've just, I kind of wanted to just take this and see how far I could go with it before checking out other people. But by all means, look for, look for professionals. Lear I feel like the best ways to learn is doing it yourself and just figuring it out on the fly, reading books and watching tutorials, and constantly wanting to learn and learning and then learning from professionals who do it professionally every single day i feel like those are the best three ways to learn and this is one of those avenues so do it if this is what you want do it and i can already tell it's only been one one day with it and i already i'm already i'm giddy <laughs> i'm stumbling over everything right now i apologize um but yeah that was as far as that class goes that was everything that happened absolutely wonderful do it if you if this is for you, <laughs> or maybe you don't know and you want to try and you know test test out some waters, see if it is for you. Go for it, you know, it, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so um, that was pretty much for that. The as far as the channel updates, um, as some of you have probably noticed, <laughs> there haven't really been uh, analysis videos or animation videos. Uh, the one part of the analysis videos was when I tried doing the Fathom events for Spirited Away and not realizing until last second, oh shoot, I can't use the footage. So that was very disappointing. And then with time throughout the week, I tried to assemble the next uh, analysis video and I just couldn't do it. Uh, I'm Again, I'm sorry for that. I just want to be honest with that. With the animation videos, I have been animating it. it. This is not me trying to avoid making videos for the channel. It's not me trying to take a vacation or anything. Absolutely not. I am, the main thing I'm doing right now is I'm rebuilding stuff for my portfolio, however, I was thinking, do I make videos of what I'm doing for my portfolio right now? I'm not opposed to it, it's just for how they're looking right now because they're in the early stages where I'm setting up keys, I feel like most people watching that would get bored very easily, or that they're, you know, it's like, hey look, I have, for this scene, I have my first five keys made, and it's like, I'm gonna be like, yay, that's great! I feel like most people don't want to watch me for 10 minutes making the next key or something like that. So, <laughs> um, so I'm just, I do apologize I haven't been making videos. It's just for, for what I've been working on the past week or so, I didn't feel like people would find it entertaining just because of how small it is and just how early stages it is. When it is larger, by all means, I will show it because I feel like you guys would appreciate that more. And then with the analysis videos, that was just on top of everything I was doing with this weekend and animations, I wasn't able to get those, so I do apologize. But this this Friday, there will be a new analysis video. I will force that. It will be ready. If not, you know, hang me from hang me from the building. I don't know. <laughs> so that's just what it is. Again, it, it's not that me. It's not me not wanting to put videos on the channel or not believing in myself. It's just 
I am trying to achieve a lot of objectives right now, like both with animation, with voice acting, and just in life in general. And I want to make sure that the videos go up on this channel are not only entertaining, but worth your time. So that is what it is. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this fun. And I will post this video today, but also I saw something last night which I found really fun, and as a little treat, I'm gonna have two videos posted today. So keep in mind, there's gonna be a video posted up right after this. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>